Well, spring has arrived, and I don't know about you, but I get this itch to just clean. I just want to bust open the windows and let the spring air in and clean out my closets and welcome the warm weather. So let's get started with a self-proclaimed clean freak. I love this about him. Christian Dare. <laughs> Cleaning. I'm ready to get cleaning. It doesn't actually surprise me at all because you're you're very good with your wardrobe. Everything's very clean. You're very edited. Yeah. So it doesn't surprise me at all that you're a, you're a clean freak. But this might be surprising because I okay. don't usually clean with food. Right, which is what we're but talking about now. Sometimes when you need to clean something and you don't have the product at home, yes. there are some things at home you already have, like food, that you can use to clean them. Okay, that right? is kind of weird. Rush. It's kind of weird. Depending on, the, depending on the food we're talking about, Depending on the food about, we're right? talking about, but it's also great because a lot of them are more natural than a lot of these chemical cleaners you're using, yes. right? Yes, and a lot of people are making that, they're going back natural. Yeah, exactly. Right? So these are a little bit more interesting. Okay. And we're going to see if you can guess what food item cleans what. Oh, problem. great. Okay. <laughs> so the first problem, which is always pretty terrible, yeah. and people mostly avoid it, cleaning your silver. Yeah. Cleaning your old brass. There's okay. these big heavy chemicals to do it, but yeah. you can do it with food. Okay, what food. What do you think? I was going to say toothpaste. Toothpaste? But that's no. not really food. Go, show me. But? Ketchup. Ketchup. Did you know that? Okay, so, a few of them knew that. The trick with ketchup is it'll clean any silver okay. and any brass is you actually, and it's kind of gross in some ways, right? want to do, oh, this guy's not open, okay. but <laughs> you want to do like a healthy dose. Okay. Like you really need to rub it in. Yeah. And you want to let it sit for an hour. So you want like good coverage and right. you let it sit for an hour. And you should use your hands, just and joking. You, Don't do yeah. that. Don't do Get that. Get the kids involved. It's, it's fun. Like, it's the acid in the tomato that will actually clean off the tarnish oh. for you. So okay. after that, I'll just wipe it clean and yeah. then polish it with a soft cloth. Oh, that's it? Right, that's it. Okay, so you're not Easy. putting anything else abrasive on no. it to get it off? Just no, throw just let on it sit there for an hour and it'll do it. Okay, what do we have next? Up next. So I actually made muffins. I forgot to spray them. Whoopsies. Then I let them soak overnight in the sink. Okay. It's very rusty and gross. So let me guess. <laughs> We've done ketchup. How about mustard? Not quite. No. <laughs> it is... Potato. A lovely potato. How? So what's actually in potato is oxalic acid. Okay. I <laughs> had to look that up. Yeah. But what you want to do is you want to cut your potato in half. Mm -hmm. You dip it in a little baking soda. Okay. And then you just start scrubbing. This is like a fun... So you scrub it. And it will turn basically the acid... The, the acid will actually turn the rust into a liquid. Okay. So then you just rinse it out. Well, you know, the good thing about this is the potato is the perfect size, especially if you're yeah. doing a muffin tray yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. That's really interesting. I've especially never seen that before. Especially your old potatoes are growing roots. You yes. don't eat them? Use them for this. Okay. All right. Next one. Water rings on old furniture. Water rings. Does anybody want to throw out a food for me? What do you think? They think nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Onion. Cucumber. Tomato. I don't know. Ready? Tiny. Yeah. Mayonnaise. mayo not just good for sandwiches <laughs> so with the mayo what you actually want to do yeah also kind of gross yeah literally any excess water you have on here wipe it off with a paper towel and then you're just gonna glob on your mayo okay and let it sit overnight okay it's, Keep it away from the pets. Literally, if you think about it, what's in here is oil and egg. So yes. it's all natural. So it's actually natural oil. So that's what's in it. Oh, I so see. So they'll actually soak in and remove the ring. Okay. You need the something oily. The trick is the oldest rings are a little bit tougher, so leave it longer. Right. Next one. Okay. Lipstick. Lipstick rings. Lipstick rings. They're always hard to get off. Um, I would feel like an oil would work here, too. But we've already done mayonnaise. What do you got? I've got salt. Oh, so, yeah, an abrasive. An abrasive. So you add salt. Yeah. This guy's going to open well for me. You're just going to add salt into some liquid. Okay. I have too much liquid in here. But basically, you're going to make a salt paste. Yeah. And then you just rub it on here. It'll scrub it off. That's good because that lipstick set, is in it'll there. It'll stick there forever, right? Yes. Okay, salt. Coffee grinders. I think a lot of people don't think about cleaning out the coffee grinder, but if you don't clean out the inside, they don't work as well. Right. So what do you think you clean out the inside of your coffee grinder with? Lemons? Vinegar? vinegar. They're saying vinegar. Vinegar is good for your coffee maker, but you actually want to snap, crackle. And pop? Rice Krispies. Really? So you put them in because they are soft and fibrous. Yeah. You send them through the grinder and it actually collects the coffee grinds. Because coffee grinds have oil oh. from the coffee, right? 
so it collects it and takes yeah. it out. Okay, okay that's Old great. smelly water bottles. Yeah, you I don't know. know. These are tough. sitting around, they're smelly. Yes. How do you get that smell out? I don't know. I use like the baby bottle uh, cleaners to get in the water bottles, but I don't Food know about idea? the smell. I don't know. You probably would also use this sometimes on your pets. Tomato, tomato juice. Tomato juice takes out skunk smell, but it also will take out this smell. Oh, so you wash it with tomato you, juice. Yeah, so you rinse it with tomato juice. You yeah. just pour it in some tomato juice, let it sit for a little while, because yeah. basically tomato juice will seep out the flavors. Oh, and then rinse it. Okay. okay, love that. Two more left. Broken glass. Bread, white bread. Yes? You got it. Yes, finally! Yes! It picks up all the yes. small flavors. Yeah. Totally. So, very last one. Yes, my favorite already. We switched. <laughs> if you've got vodka. Yes, don't what waste can it. can you clean with vodka? I don't know. Why would you want to clean anything with your good <laughs> vodka? It's under this. What are you going to guess? What are you cleaning? Um, you're cleaning, uh, I don't know, some kind of a stain. Like, okay, um, lift it off. Oops. <laughs> It's actually, oh. Tracy, will you clean my diamond for me? So this is a good jewelry cleaner. Yes, so all you do is drop it right in. Nice diamond you got there. Right? Nice rock. Okay. So the natural vodka will clean it. If it's really dirty, you yeah. actually use a little toothbrush. Oh, with nice. The vodka to clean it off. Oh, see, I've never tried that. And it right? does take a lot of vodka to right. do that, so I'm okay with that. Now, lastly, what would you do with the olives? Like, well, what are the olives there? Olives, of course. You can't have a martini without olives. Oh. <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> Very good. I love it. Okay, and I didn't know almost any of those, so thank you for that, Christian.